Uh, in this video, I will show you how you, as an administrator, will create all the users and assign them uh, to the correct groups. Then we will go through how you communicate this information with the user so they can log on. So at the moment, I am logged in as the administrator for Caruni, uh, the company Caruni. Uh, so I will go to users and I can see that uh, it's only one user created and that's myself. Uh, as you can see here, all the groups has been created that I, uh, we spoke about in the last movie. So they are all prepared. So now as an administrator, I will start to create the user. So first of all, I click on new user. I give a username. Uh, I will just write headmaster now for the sake of demonstration. But you could write your name, Martin Hansen or whatever you want. Then I will leave the password blank because I would like that person to get an email so he can actually set his own password. So the email is administration.caroni.com. Of course, this will be the email of the headmaster. And then I will add him to the groups. For example, the drivers, uh, economy, um, pictures, uh, promotion, and you can add more groups later if it was. Uh, I would suggest that for a student, you put a quota or maybe five gigabyte something, but for administration and teacher, I wouldn't put a quota, but that you can do as you uh, see please yourself. So now I have created a user, no password, and I click this to create a user. So the user has now been created. And as you see, there's no password. So what happens now? Well, under the settings, it says that it should send an email to this user so he can log in and create his password. So now I will go to the webmail of this user and rightly, I have got an email. So I will click on it and it will say down here that um, I'm just gonna minimize this box. So, uh, so I can uh, set a password for this user. So that's fine. I can also install the client, which will link you to the place where you can download the client. So first of all, I will set the password. So the user is now ready to put in his password. So what happens if I put a very simple password? It will come up and say that this is amongst the 1 million most used common ones. So please make it more unique. So I will make a more unique password. So let's see if that works. And that works. So now I am pres presented with a username and a password. So I log in as headmaster with my password. And uh, there I'm logged in <coughs> with my new account. And there is a little presentation here in the start about how to do things. And you can download the apps and so on to your uh, system. So now the user has been created. He has logged in. He has created his own password. And that's basically how it works. So that was user number one. Now you can uh, continue to create new users until you have gone through the whole list of users uh, that we have agreed on that you should create. At any point, you can also go in and edit stuff. You can add more groups. Uh, you can remove groups. You can set quotas. And when you finish, you just say done. So this is how it works. Uh, so I would like you now to create all the users. And in the next video, we will have all the users ready. We will have all the groups ready. And we will do a couple of examples on how you create the folders and how you share them with the correct groups.